Months after an EF2 tornado tore through their community, East Bruton says it still hasn't gotten any cleanup help from the government. NBC 15's James Gordon has an update with East Bruton's mayor, who says the cost of the cleanup has passed $3 million. And that's $3 million that a small town like East Bruton simply doesn't have, and it's way below the threshold for FEMA reimbursement. It was an impossible situation, one that small towns like East Bruton simply had not planned for. It wasn't until Mayor Terry Clark asked Atmore's Porch Band of Creek Indians for help. Workers and equipment spent weeks cleaning up July's tornado debris at no cost and no strings attached. We were probably about a third of the way through instead of maybe three-fourths of the way through. But they, but they showed up, so that, that's the key. Even Alabama's governor came to see what was going on. The governor made no promises, and the town does not qualify for federal disaster aid from FEMA. The mayor says even though most of the cleanup was done by volunteers and the tribe, the city is still on the hook for overtime pay and other expenses. What happened here in East Bruton should be an eye-opener, he says. Is it the, uh, the no, state no, no, EMA? No, or? no, no, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame anybody on this. This is just something that's been going on with the state for a long time. What I'm saying, they ought to have something to take care of the small towns when, when you know, we, most of the small towns don't, they, they, they live from one year to the next on a budget. So they don't have a lot of extra spending money. And they need something to take care of those small towns. It's something that's never been done before. Escambia County Senator Greg Albritton says with the uncertainty of each storm, it's not an easy solution. The senator favors a state-backed insurance policy plan for small towns and cities. We should be able to work together to find a way to, to establish some means, both local and state, jointedly, to find a little more protection in regard to this. I would, I would encourage that we do that more. To find that, to find that method, and the senator says that's something he plans to bring attention to. The state legislature meets again next year in Baldwin County. James Gordon, NBC 15 News.